Hello everybody, my name is Avery from Frostbite Development, and today we are going to be making a hot potato plugin. You guys might be wondering, what am I looking at? What is this? Well, this is actually my old hot potato plugin, um, that I haven't really updated since September. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's, uh, January 4th of 2014. That's a long time. Um, I've been away working for a server that I uh, recently quit because of some other reasons. So, I have time to start back this plugin, and I guess I'm going to share everything I do with you guys. Um, for heads up, I might not do everything with you guys. I might have, like, coded stuff on my own, just like the really basic stuff. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'd like to warn you that, um, what the heck was that? Um, I did not script anything out, which I'm going to be doing. So it's not like I have a paper right next to me and I'm coding from the paper. I'm just doing this all in my head. That's just what I do. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So open up Cliffs like you should have. Um, yeah, you should have. Uh, if you don't have this installed, you can go look at one of my other videos. I think I did it in the past. So let's uh, create a new project. If you don't know how to do that, then um, go back into the past, and it should be there. <laughs> or I'll put a link in the description, so don't worry. Descriptions, description. All right. So let's name this hot potato. So right now we have to add the latest jar, which I think is 1.6.4 R2. We're going to add that. Um, what else are we going to add? Nothing. All right. So right now let's... Uh, Create my package. We're gonna do me dot Avery two four six eight one three five seven nine dot hot potato. Oh, hot potato. And then we're gonna create our main class, hot potato. Um, I forgot to say that uh, there'll be a GitHub in the descriptions of in the description of the plugin. And yeah, they'll be updated. So right now, um, we have our main class. So right now we are gonna do logger logger equals um logger dot get my oh dot get logger minecraft then exit that with the semicolon I don't know um then we're gonna do the on enable that we can do control space and just type in on oh, nope we forgot something we forgot to extend the plugin by Java we yeah we forgot to extend the plugin by Java plugin. And let's import that by hovering over it or doing control space and yeah. Um now we're gonna do the on enable by doing control space then on enable. And we don't need any of this stuff since it's stupid. And then we're gonna do an on disable, control space on disable. Let's remove all that. Um I guess today we'll just do setting up and stuff like that. So we don't really need this on enable on disable right now, since we're really not gonna use that that much today. So we're gonna create a new package. It's gonna be me dot Avery two four six eight one three five seven seven nine dot hot potato. Then we're gonna do dot handlers. So inside this inside this handlers, we're gonna do um configuration handler. Oh. So I use a configuration handler to kind of help me out with the config. It really isn't cheating in any way. It's just a lot easier to use than having to go and get a variable from the config every time. So what we're gonna do is, how are we gonna do this? Let's do a hot potato, oh, hot potato plugin. Then below this, let's do public void, nope, public, then we can do control space configuration handler. Then, um, parentheses, and we do hot potato plugin, then exit out of that and do curly brackets, and inside here we're going to do this dot plugin equals plugin. Now that we have, we have that, we're going to make an init. What this basic, what this basically does is that, um, it will get the information we need from the config and yeah it'll get the inf information we need from the config and it's a lot 
better way, you could say. Yeah. So let's do public void in it. Um, yeah. So that's basically the configuration handler right now, since we really don't need it for anything else. Um, oh, we could do one thing. So right here, we're going to do, um, we're going to make a comment. I'm going to make a comment, at least. Plugin info. So right here, we're going to do private, uh, let's see, uh, string prefix. And the default we'll do is, huh. Hot potato. Yes, hot potato. And we're gonna create a get and setter by hovering over the prefix and doing create getter and setter. Sorry if you can hear my parents in the background. So I'm just gonna comment this out saying getter and setter. So it looks a little n n neater. Neater, yeah, that's the word. Um. So let's do that and put hot potato right there. So right here in the init, we're in do if plugin dot get config dot get string. Oh no no no, we're not gonna do get string. We're gonna do dot contains. Uh, then we're gonna copy prefix here. And do prefix. Then we're gonna do this dot set prefix plugin dot get config dot get string prefix. And if you're wondering, um, Avery, in this if statement, why do you not have curly brackets like that? Well, you do not need curly brackets if there's only one statement or if it, there's only one line following. Yeah. Mostly that. So what this does is that it gets the, it checks to see if the config contains a variable prefix. And if it does, then it's going to set prefix inside the configuration handler to the prefix inside the config. So right now let's create the config by doing new file config dot yml right here we're gonna put prefix and then we're gonna do hot potato all right um now in the on enable we're gonna do a new thing comment called inits so any initiators then right here, we're going to do a new thing, a new comment, right above the add override, and we're going to call it classes. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to call the construct, we're going to call, we're going to create a new um, configuration handler class. So let's create a new one by doing private configuration handler, config handler, equals new configuration handler, this. This is, um, uh, the hot potato. Uh, then we're going to create new getter and setters and add the. Ooh, that shouldn't be hot potato, it should be getters and setters. I don't even care if I sold that right. Um, and we're going to place it right there. Ooh, was that a car? Ooh, that was a car. Now, um, in the inits, we're going to do configure config handler dot init. So what this is going to do is an, it's going to call the init here and it's going to check to see if uh, any of the variables are here and set the variables. So now we're going to um, get the conf get and save the config. Uh, not get and save. Save the config. Um, maybe I should have this before. I don't really know if it matters but I'll just put this before. Um, so what we're going to do right here is this dot get config dot get config dot options dot copy defaults and we're going to do true and then we're going to do this dot save config so what this does is that it gets the options of the config and it copies the default config then it saves the config the next line 
So I think that's all the time we have right now. Um, the next episode, we're going to actually go into more setup, because setup is key. Yeah, I have no clue what we're going to do next episode. It's, it's, it's just, um, I'm doing it on the, the fly, you could say. So yeah. So see you guys next episode. Bye.